steep, huh? Yeah. Are we, are we gonna have to go down this with the trailers? Yeah, but it'll be all right. tires on and they got four wheel drive. Well, the other day we had a guy by the name of Clay stop by the shop. He was from Wyoming. He had driven by and seen some buses of ours in the parking lot. Uh, some of the bugs we have out there and I also had seen our Corvair and Clay's kind of a, an old car nut and Wanted to just stop in and say hi um, Likes the Corvairs likes the v-dubs. So we stopped into the shop. And we were talking for a little while and uh, After we talked for a while he uh, was on his way out and he mentioned oh hey by the way I've got a friend uh, in Wyoming who has a couple of split window buses and he's also got what he described as a 4x4 Vanagon camper and so uh, obviously we were very interested and uh, later that day Clay sent me a couple of photos. So as it turns out the bus on the right is a 1967 SO42 Westphalia pop top camper it's a walk through and the other bus is a Sea Blue Standard 1965. Still had all of the salt and pepper interior inside. And as for the 4x4 camper, here it is, a 1987 Westphalia Synchro Full Camper. Which of these three would you be most excited about? Well, lucky for us, we didn't have to choose between the three because Clay's friend Robbie was willing to sell us all three of them. A couple weeks later we headed out with some trucks, trailers, and a whole lot of help. Had the girls helping me out with video, Stacy helping me out with photos, and we went about dragging these buses out of their resting place. Uh, they had been here for 20 plus years, 20 to 25 I believe was what I was, uh, was hearing from Robbie and his wife. What? So we came up with a game plan and uh, after we got a few things sorted out, like the fact that I had forgotten my air chuck for my compressor, we started getting things aired up and ready to move them. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you. I'll give you blocks knocked out. Yeah. Hey. Alright. Here. And power. Thank you. Yeah, we might. We might. Don't get, you, you don't get me singing. You just don't do that. We can edit right now. Yeah. Oh, puppy. It was the glare off of the screen. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Son of a gun. Hey, we got here. I got an impact. You have a little impact gun? Yeah. We're going to have the wrong fitting on it though, probably, huh? Oh. Let's just, uh, I think, yeah. we'll just max it out and then we'll just go with it. The star yeah. wrench won't work, huh? It's, they're tight. Yeah. They're on there pretty tight. It ought to hold it long enough to get it on the trailer. Okay. Yeah. Lucky for us, Robbie volunteered to uh, help us pull these out with his little tractor. Not only did he clear all the snow for us with the snow blower, but uh, then we used it to winch these out or to, to pull them out and uh, proved to be a little difficult but we eventually got them out of there.
Pesci throw bigger flag. I think I remember these things running. I, I, this I one might not have been running. I don't remember. <laughs> he said he thinks the other one's got a good engine in it. But we'll see. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, I'll tell you a little story. I broke my transaxle in Mexico, in Baja, and I got a, a bug transmission, right? Oh, you yeah. You know the difference. Oh, yeah. So I, mean, I put the bug, and I took the... I, the, the gears, the reduction gears, you know how they turn the wrong way and all that? Yeah. I took that whole thing apart with just the bare minimum of tools in Mexico on a blanket and all that. You got it all back together and put it in first gear and you know where I went? Well, that backwards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Backwards. You had four reverse gears and one right. forward gear. After like two <laughs> days of work. Oh, you know? and you're just like, no! Yeah, I know. And so I took it to a little shop. It was in, in Sonata. I was towed behind a truck all the way up in Sonata. And, uh, they fixed it for like 50 bucks or something, nice. you know? uh, Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. We broke down in Mexico a couple times in my 65 Deluxe. And it's crazy, you can get parts for Volkswagens, at least yeah. back then, this was a 98. You can get parts for Volkswagens anywhere down yeah, there, right. you know? They're all over I mean, there. gas station, they got throttle cables, clutch yeah. cables on the wall. We went and took the tranny out of that bug, and, you know, in and, and Sonata, and, you know? And I was, I was just covered with grease, you know? I want to thank Clay for stopping by the shop that day and uh, giving us a tip on, on these old Volkswagens. Uh, I want to thank Robbie especially uh, you know, for selling them to us and also for uh, clearing out all the snow there in front of the split windows. Would have been pretty tough to get those out uh, if we had to you know, blow all that snow or move that snow ourselves. He had it all ready for us that day. I also want to thank Dan for coming along, bringing his truck and towing one of these buses home and for Jason and Leah and for uh, Leo letting us use her Duramax to, to tow one home as well. Big thanks to Stace and to Alexa and Savannah for coming along and helping out with the videos and uh, the pictures. Um, at the end of the day, pretty much uh, everybody just got some all-you-can-eat pizza on our way home, and uh, we spent the better, the better uh, part of a day up there getting these out. It was, it was a long day. Um, it was a lot of fun, a little chilly, but uh, we had a good time. And again, thanks to Robbie and his wife for uh, letting us come up there and buy these and, and for their hospitality while we were up there. As for the Synchro, uh, we picked it up a couple weeks before uh, we did. We picked up the split windows. Uh, Robbie had it running for us. Uh, we just had to bring a battery along and put the battery in it. Uh, ended up driving it home over the Jackson Pass. Did really good. Uh, the bus was equipped with a decoupler that worked pretty good in the you know, four-wheel drive got us up over the icy pass the girls and i took it to provo uh, later that week um, about a four and a half five hour trip um, went and spent the night came back the next day 
Uh, basically, we just did some cosmetic touch-up on the Synchro, wheels, tires, uh, new rack and pinion, uh, upper ball joints, tinted the windows, um, fix a dent on the long wall, rust on the short rocker, and then we rhino-lined it from the lower body line down just with a tone-on-tone -tone, uh, Raptor liner, they call it. Really fun bus, um, and uh, we had a lot of fun with it while we had it. Anyways, that's the end of this video. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. appreciate you supporting the Volkswear YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll talk to you later. Thank you.